Hi, my name is Dombe Zintle, better known as DJ Zintle. I am the owner of Era by DJ Zintle. So Cairo Forbes is my daughter <laughs> and she is uh, pretty to me. All moms think their children are pretty. But Cairo is growing up around a lot of um, um, powerful women, her grandmothers, myself, my sisters. I work with a lot of women in the business era by DJ Zindle. So she's been born into a space where women are always working. And I think she's just understood um, that part of life. And she's also put herself in that space. She started working as an, as an influencer. And we just thought it was important for her to also work for era by DJ Zindle and contribute something, start her legacy while she's still young and teach her about the importance of business and work, which she really understands right now. So we wanted to um, bring her in, um, and we started by launching a watch for her, a Cairo watch, uh, that was followed by her sunglasses, which are doing very well. So this really, for me, was just to start teaching her, as young as she is, about just the importance of work, about the importance of independence as a young woman, and the importance of doing something, you know, um, that will add value to your future. She is great to work with. We like her in this company. She adds a lot of value, but it's important for her to start her legacy while she's still young. My message for women would be um, to just start. If you want to get into business, if you want to do something that you've been scared to do for a long time, just start. Um, a lot of people will think that maybe when you start a business or when you get into a project, you need a lot of money. Uh, capital could be your skills, it could be the time that you invest in the business. And personally, I learned from the University of Google. I went online and I learned everything that I needed to learn about the businesses that I wanted to start. And I think that's a very important thing for people to learn that there's a lot of information online. You can access it anytime. And another important thing for me is to start where you are with what you have. It's important to nothing that you need large amounts of money or a big warehouse but you just need to start where you are so that when you start more small even your mistakes become smaller you don't want to take a big risk in the beginning start small and learn as much as you can i've had businesses that have failed badly <laughs> that i didn't want to talk about but i also understood that that is the part that's part of the process that's part of where you learn so learn from your mistakes adjust and keep going every step is important so i had the option to start a brand of sunglasses or uh, sneakers and a friend of mine advised that I rather maybe start a brand that sells watches because it talks, talks so much about time and the concept of time and we just dis discussed the idea of time and what it means for women especially in this era. Um, we spoke about um, the World Cup happening in Africa, about evolution and women finding their power in this era. So we just thought okay let's call it era and use this brand to remind women of what's possible in these times. So our core product is watches, African inspired print um, watches and we wanted to design a watch that would communicate the vision of Africa to the world because we believe that Africa is a big conversation in the world right now and people are excited about our colour, about our diversity and of everything that we can offer as Africa so we wanted that to be represented in our watches. Um, the range grew um, to um, uh, complementary products, that's what we call them. Um, your bracelets, your earrings, um, your necklaces. Uh, we also recently launched Eurovision, which is our sunglass range, which I'm super excited about. I've always wanted to have a sunglass range. We've also um, introduced like a smaller range uh, for Cairo, uh, which is a sunglass and watch range, which is absolutely cute uh, for the kiddies. Um, she is the face of the brand <laughs> and she is uh, doing a great job. And those are really the three basic um, ranges that we have with Arabic Jays and Glam. So, I mean, I started the brand eight years ago and it was just me at the time. And I think it was very important for me to be on my own when I started the brand. And also it was important for me to understand that I'm gonna start small and grow the brand. So in the beginning, it was just a lot of products uh, in my lounge. Um, I couldn't even get to my kitchen at some point because everything was stored in my house. So the storeroom was at my house, the product sorting was up to me and my friends were helping me at the time. And just also naming the products and the prices and coming up with all those things are things that I had to research on Google. Like that was, I went to the University of Google, my friends make, make fun of me, but that's something that's very important. So when, and another story that I like to tell people is that when I started, 
I was actually doing the order. I mean, I did the website myself. I still do. Um, I do the order processing myself at the time because I felt like it was important for me to learn all the systems that it required to run the business efficiently so that by the time I get people into the business, I know exactly what their roles are supposed to be. So I spent a lot of time processing orders myself, refining systems. A lot of stuff didn't work. I had to change and research. But uh, in the beginning, and I still, I'm, I'm still majorly involved in the brand, but I had to work on the brand a lot on my own just to figure it out. Uh, one of the biggest goals or the biggest things that we want to achieve as ERA in the next few years is distribution. And this is why we're so excited to work with Soko. Um, we believe that we've solidified maybe um, the presence in the market. People know about the brand, but people still cannot access the brand. So there are people who are still not trusting that online space, but we need to be able to access the customer who wants an era by DJs in the product and cannot get it because they're scared to shop online. So distribution is our biggest plan going forward. So we are praying that Soko can open more stores so that we can make it more distribution. Uh, but for us, this is the most important thing right now. As an artist um, or as a DJ or as a performer, I felt like it's very important for me to diversify um, my portfolio or use my influence in other areas. I love business and I love brands and I wanted to see if it was possible for me to do something I would just be a performer. But over and above that, I was just in a position where brands were not uh, like trying to endorse me, <laughs> brands were not working with me at the time. So I said, you know what, I'm going to create a brand that is going to be so fire that everyone will want to work with me and that's how ERA started. But um, over the years, I've just realized how important that is, you know, to be able to use my influence and to be able to use all the things that I've learned in the industry and incorporate to build something that could create jobs or something that be, that be as great as ERA. And I felt like it was an important part of all the, uh, all the artists' lives to just be able to tap into something else. Um, it, it makes sense now with COVID. I mean, I haven't been able to perform really in two years and I've had to use other businesses to make an income like ERA. So when I started ERA um, eight years ago, um, shopping online wasn't a strong point in South Africa, but I didn't have any other distribution channel other than online. Um, so social media and online were very important for my business, and they still are, because that's where we started, that's where we could access the market. So, um, and I've always had this chat with my friends that the biggest challenge for me still, even though we do so well online, is distribution, you know. Um, and I've had a retail store before that failed badly. It wasn't an Eero store, it was a, a different store, but it failed and it put the fear of retail in me. And um, it's, it's just so great to be able to collaborate with Soko because then I'm sharing the risk with them, you know, in, ter in terms of, you know, being in a retail space. But also, as an online brand, it's very important for us, especially now that we've gone into to products that people want to try on, like sunglasses, to be in a physical space. So it's important for us to be in a place where people can go and experience the brand and interact with the products. Um, so Soko came at the right time for me, and I just feel like it's great. Um, because it's giving businesses like mine, which is what is happening right now in this country, an opportunity to just access the market in a different um, and, and in a different way.